Okay, this is hilarious. Here we have the new dragon flight. And you can see we get the red dragon here. We get the blue dragon here. Oh yes, the black just around the corner with green just coming down the road. Yeah, okay, so Dragonfly on the preview server is a little bit of a mess right now. It's seriously funny that you can do this though, but there is inherently quite a bug to go with this. The fish can actually eat the dragons. So before we go over exactly what just happened there, let's explain a little bit of background and what's going to be new with the next update, supposedly Tuesday upcoming, the 9th of August. However, with this bit of a discovery, I'm not sure it will be published that date. So before we get started, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And so Dragonflight, how does it work? Well, initially, you'll need to have a total of five people or more in your guild stronghold itself. So we get everybody in a party here and then you can go make sure you go to the right guy, the traveling wizard. And we can see first you'll be able to pick up the quest and master of dragons from him. And you can see that's why he has the question mark. But otherwise, once you have five or more people, you can activate Dragonflight with 2,500 guild marks. Can be quite expensive, but if you're dividing that cost up amongst the amount of people who can actually partake, yeah, it ends up pretty small. So we've initiated Dragonflight. We make our way to the Last Hope graveyard to meet up with the Red Dragon just here. Now, one thing that is unfortunate is you're actually scaled in these, which means they take a good bit longer to defeat them. You can see that just here when we open our character sheet, we have blue item level and we're scaled down to 60,000. So our base damage is 7,200, which means we deal a significantly less amount of damage we normally would, along with having a good bit less amount of hit points. However, what we have figured out once fighting them is that you can actually go and pull them out of the area so you're no longer scaled. You can see that notification, your item level has returned to normal. And we can see the dragon simply just follows you. So that's the bread and butter of what we were achieving. And it's very hilarious at the time. Now on the run beforehand, we just went and killed the dragon normally as I wanted to complete my quest and get the rewards. So upon defeating the dragon, we only defeated one of them, as you can see just here, which means our objective is complete for our quest. You don't have to kill the rest of them. You can see they're all on 100% HP and we're on a timer of one minute before they flee. So we just go and we run back to the stronghold, ignoring the other four dragons. And so once the timer finishes up, you can see that under the mini map, you can see that your dragon flight will be complete, regardless if you haven't killed the other three dragons. You just have to kill one of them to complete your quest, as we did just here speaking back to the traveling wizard. You hand that in and you can see we will get a fang of dragon flight. And this is very important as you will need those in order to obtain the rewards from the dragon flight store. Now you can see we get another quest, which is a re repeatable one. Dragons of concern. Herein, you're getting another fang and then you're getting two strong boxes. Now, along with this dragons of concern quest, you will also get a Pacific quest to one of the four dragons. Right here we got Chrysos the Vane. So we're going to have to kill the blue dragon. Each and every person will get their own individual quest and this quest is a daily quest. You can complete it once per day and you can see you're getting dragons ridges two of them. So every week you can get a total of 14 of these by doing your dragon flight. Now, additionally, you get another fang of dragon flight and you get a dragon flight surprise bag, which you can see will contain rough or diamonds, random dragon parts, level 20 dragon flight gear, a mount or a companion. And that is where you can obtain some of the best gear from this event. So we accept that reward and then we go to pay up the cost to activate Dragonflight contest has started. So then we go back to our red dragon planning to kill him again, but you can see we are scaled again. So at this point we're like, right, since the area at which we get scaled is only just at this gate, can't we just bring him out of there and then fight him? So we're unscaled? Yeah. So he just follows us out 
we're no longer scaled and we can kill him much faster. Well, we need to bring him a little bit further because I was just getting scaled right next to him. Range DPS didn't have a problem and we can burn him down much faster. So we go ahead and we finish him off. Again, that will complete our Dragonflight quest, but actually not the Pacific Dragon quest as we didn't actually kill that. And I'll go over that a little bit more. As you can see, when you read the description of the quest, Cry Sauce the Vein, we haven't completed it upon completing Dragonflight because we didn't actually defeat Cry Sauce. So that completes Dragonflight, and again, we get the same quest. You can do this over and over again to get those Dragon Fangs. This quest, just here. You can pick up the quest immediately after completing it, and you can see these strong boxes. unfortunately, will need strong box keys from the Zen market. So they're a little bit useless, in my opinion. So we decided we just activate it again real quick, and we'll actually go and kill the Pacific Dragon to my quest so we could get the surprise bag so this time with it activated i need to go to the blue one up there cry sauce the vein so we get here and our dragon arrives and we do have a tank with us make it nice and easy and he goes and pulls the dragon down the road and we decide we'll just go and kill him here while my teammate who has a different quest goes and kills the other one the black one so we do go, we successfully finish off the blue dragon while our teammate goes and finishes off the black one. Literally just, as you can see there, objective complete, Chrysos the Vein defeated. Now every time you kill the, one of the dragons, you have one minute left to kill the remaining dragons. So keep that in mind if you want to kill the other types of dragons. So again, with dragon fight complete, we go, we hand in that quest, we get Chrysos the Vein complete, and this will give us the dragon fight flight surprise bag along with some ridges completing the quest puts those items in your inventory and we can again complete dragons of concern just giving us another fang and some useless strong boxes so again we can pick up the same repeatable quest to get more fangs so in our inventory here we have that surplus equipment useless strong box and we have the surprise bag unfortunately we only got some dragon parts which is pretty interesting as normally again you'll have just obtained them from dragon hunt so it has a little bit of a tie-in and then i believe one of our helpers went and activated dragonflight <laughs> again anyway we decided to roll with it and actually have a little bit of fun so i headed over to the red one dealt a bit of damage to him and then legged it and indeed he just followed me the whole way. He started flying at some point where I'm <laughs> doing loads of weird mechanics, which is pretty neat. But we got him down to the lake here and by the bridge. And I decided I'd hop up onto the bridge here and we can see him there flying about. And all of a sudden he gets a bit glitchy. You can see he starts teleporting about the place until he lands in the pond and the fishes enjoy a bit of dragon steak. Yeah, Cryptic Studios, I think you have something to fix before you put this on live. Just a uh, heads up. Yeah, so that completes one of the dragon hunts very easily with dragon flight complete by killing one of them. You could then get the remaining ones killed in that time, but you only have one minute left. And we go and we get again our dragon flight fang. And so we wanted to take this a step further. As per the beginning of the video, I went and brought the red one here and my other party members brought the other dragons. So that's how we ended up in this situation with the red, the blue and the black with the green just coming up from down the road. Unfortunately, Red decides he likes going swimming and yeah, he ended up back in the river and the fishes had another good meal. So he just died. And the rest of them are having quite a bit of fun just here. We decided we'd all try and cross over the moat so that they would try and aggro us on the other side. Well, it wasn't really working. They decided they'd just uh, stare at us and do a few mechanics here and there. It's so funny to see so many dragons together doing all of their different mechanics. Cryptic, you could totally leave this as a feature, you know, 
and uh, just you know fix the fix the fishes, make them not deal so much damage to these dragons. Well, Green ended up getting a little bit stuck in the water too. Not sure how because he was on land, and well, he got eaten as well. The rest of them, well, they decided time was up and they would fly off pretty soon afterwards. You can see they're not doing much there. Do a few mechanics and off they go as Dragonfly ends, the timer's over and they flee. So yeah, really quite amusing. Me and my friends had quite a laugh. Many thanks again to Nami, a Silpsai, and also Nero for helping me out with these dragon flights. I couldn't have done it without you guys, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun with that too. We're just grinding a bunch of those fangs right there. We will be doing this on the live server. Unlikely you'll be able to use this exact strategy to get them killed as quickly, despite how goofy and fun it was. I can see how it's a little game breaking. Otherwise, yeah, Cryptic Studios are probably gonna put a leash on them so they don't go out of the area which you're scaled or they'll scale the entire stronghold. I would prefer they just fix the fishes and uh, let us run around with the dragons. Then we can at least, if we wanted to, bring them all together like we did here. Seriously, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I can see how it would just be overly messy with so many mechanics when you have lots of people. But I think at least we should be given the option, right? If you, you want us to be scaled, just scale the entire instance or just activate the scaling when Dragonfly is active. But you might want to have a look at those fish as, again, they seem pretty hungry for some dragon meat. This was really funny when this first happened. He starts glitching about the place, teleporting, and then pop in the pond and nom 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 and he's gone. <laughs> I hope I helped a little bit with regards to the rewards that you are getting. Again, just to break it down very simply, once you've gone and done your first dragon flight, completing this gold quest, a matter of dragons, which will also give you a fang, you will then be able to pick up every time the Dragons of Concern quest, which again just gives you another fang, some rough AD, seals of adventure, and strong boxes. But additionally, once per day, you're getting a Dragon Pacific quest. The quest will have the name of the dragon you need to kill, and they'll always have the same names in those four different locations. And once you go and kill your Pacific dragon of that quest, you'll complete it. And once Dragonfly is over, you go a hand back in that quest, and that, let's say, Cry Sauce the Vein, that Pacific dragon quest, will give you your Dragonfly surprise bag and your dragon's ridges, which is pretty neat. And from that surprise bag, again, you can see by the tooltip, you're just getting rough AD or a random dragon parts or some dragon flight gear or a mount or a companion. And again, we opened it and just got parts. However, when my friend Aesil opened it, he actually got the saboteur's dragon flight ring, which is pretty much the best damage ring here giving their bonus to accuracy. So yes, that gear is indeed dropping. You can see that all here in the collections. I made a document going over it with a companion video. So again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of these channel members for the added support. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.